Good evening. I say good evening because here it's like 8.30 and I'm just now getting out into the garage. I've got home, yard work, school work, you know, kind of keep an eye on the, the elections going on right now because today's the 5th of November. You guys are going to be seeing this probably about a week, maybe two after uh, it's already happened. So I'm, I'm not going to go down that. That's not what this is about. And it is what it is. So what I do have that we can talk about is the new seat for the street light. Finally showed up today, ordered it two weeks ago. Apparently settlements kind of get into a little bit of a slower time and they pumped it out quick. So what this is, is not only is it a brand new seat for me, but it's also a brand new seat design from Saddleman. It's essentially the same seat that I had on the black street glide that now I'm gonna put on this, but the stitch pattern is different. So let's spin you around, let you guys put eyes on it. There we go. Still a road sofa, but now, and I kept that, that carbon fiber center weave, but they did it in a tuck and roll that I carried all the way through to the back with a red stitch to match the reddish bike, heavy, heavy on the ish. So yes, I already took it out of the box and yes, I already spun the seat tab around. I mean, none of that is any different than all of the other saddleman seats that I've put on any of my bikes. And this makes, I think number six, and I've already got my eyes on another seat for the street glide because we know I can't just have one seat for the street glide, but I'll fill you guys in on what it, what it is soon. So I've already pulled the thumb screw. We're going to get that seat out of there. It is better than the previous generation, but it's still not great. Let's kind of circle over there real quick. One thing I really don't like about this seat, it's actually right here. This is, it's a nice curve, but because of that curve, I feel like it kind of shoves me forward a bit. Now, mind you, I've got stubby minion legs, but I feel like this is just shoving me more forward than what I want to be. I don't like how wide the seat is from side to side. You know, it's still a vast improvement, but even the wife says this isn't as comfortable as the last sofa was. So we're going to get that out of there, put my uh, seat tab cover on it that I will now be running on the third seat and then I'll kind of follow you guys up because it's the same process. You know, you hook the front, set the back down. I know this is going to be a perfect fit. This one was a gamble. The street glide's not. We, we know it's a, it's a new bike. So let me set you guys down, get that in there and see how it looks. Hold up. So got the seat off. Um, got that stupid strap out of there and thrown up in the bin, never to be seen from again. But once I got it off, it reminded me that I wanted to point something out. The reason my old, where did it go? Yeah, my old road sofa with the orange stitch wouldn't work. It's because of this tab on the 14 to 23s, excluding the CVOs in 23. This tab was narrower. So with the 23 and a halfs and 24s, they went wider, hence why that seat won't fit because that notch got a lot bigger. Bit of a bummer, but it's all right. I don't know how well, I mean, that orange probably would have worked, but the red will work more better. So that's all I wanted to touch bases because either my options were, you know, cut the notch out to be wider on that seat, which I know I've seen somebody do. Um, I'm, I think he's a, a new subscriber and I apologize for not remembering your name, but I watched your video on how you adjusted uh, one of your old seats to fit your new bike and it got my wheels turning and I'm, I'm just not that brave. So, and I couldn't bring myself to take an angle grinder to my brand new bike to narrow this down. So I just spent the money and got the sofa. I bought it. It was, I think in that 
$600 range. I'll put a link down below in the description uh, to this exact seat because this is just cool. I love the tuck and roll with the carbon fiber and I think it'll keep this area here, make sure you're framed, from puckering. The last one puckered just a little bit, a little wrinkle, not a big deal. You know, you never see it with me sitting on it, but I knew it was there and it just kind of was in the back of my mind. So anyway, that's all. Touch bases on the tab. Now to get the seat on there, no more distractions. Oh yeah, that, that's a winner. So that, that looks good. The red stitch, I did sit on it briefly. It is, it is firmer than my last sofa and I'm gonna chalk it up too because of the additional stitching. Kind of firms it up some, I think, firmer than the orange one, but still softer than if you get the lattice stitch. I feel like that lattice stitch uh, really stiffens up the seat a lot. I've sat on one, it's firm. This is actually kind of a nice compromise between the lattice and then just the standard flat stitch. So I definitely felt like it let me slide back and locks me in better here. You know, if you notice I did opt for the, the black stitch on the letter there, a little bit more subtle. Um, that The old seat, I feel like it was pushing me more into proper posture, which after a while tends to hurt my back. I don't know about anybody else, but this just lets me ride better. You know, it's a lot more trimmed down. It's not hanging out over the side panel. So I'm really hoping that once I give this a good wash, that I don't have the seat marks in the paint on the side covers and up on the tank. I didn't see them, but that's not to say that they won't be there once I give it a wash because this will get washed, debadged, and ceramic coated. And I'm hoping to do all of that before I start screwing the paint up. So, you know, kept my, uh, my little contrast cut that's, you know, now, like I said, now on the second bike with the third seat, uh, but it, it's a win. I will get the wife out here and you know get her to sit on it and see what she thinks. I, she liked the last one. She loved the last one, so I'm sure she'll groove this. But uh, perfect fit, shocking, I know. But it, for with settlement and new bikes, man, it's great. Uh, there was actually a surprise gift in this box because in. To the guy that I talked to over at Saddleman, you've been amazing. You've been amazing with the Springer. And this seat was amazing. I actually discovered the seat because of him. And I love that he's a bad influence. My wallet, not so much. But he dropped a little surprise gift in there that was super cool. Uh, it's one of their, their steel tumblers. Uh, so it's gonna go great when I do it with my rum and Cokes or uh, you know, Jameson and Gingers or whatever it is I'm feeling frisky on. Not before writing, though. Let's be honest, probably before writing. So, uh, quality is right on par. I dig it. So now the new bikes got a new seat and a new design. So I'm, I'm really digging all the news. I have settled on the bars are going to go on the bike. That that's probably going to be more of a December to February time frame. I got to get everything ordered, and I got to have the money to do that. The new pipes I've figured out. I'm not going to tell you what any of this is. The new pipes are out of stock though, so I got to figure that one out. Um, but while I've got you, I promised something in a previous video that I didn't deliver yet. So we're going to talk about it now. Uh, but I'm going to try to set up some lighting on it so that way it's a little better. So one sec. Oh, we got new tanks. So those of you who've been watching for a minute, you know that I got this tank last year through an online auction uh, during the Smokeout Rally in North Carolina. These ones, same auction, same rally. What's different is this is a hollow shell. So I can't do anything with it but hang it on the wall. These ones, however, are a complete tank. So really, if I had a split tank on that, and the ability to weld or any ounce, measurable ounce of creativity, I could take these two and put them on there. I can't, I'm not gonna, but they're super cool. And I don't know if that metal flake is gonna come through, but just beautiful black and gold, real deep up top. We've got you know, the water spots all the way up. Even did a matching gas cap. 
So nice touch on that one. And this blue, oh, I love this blue. A nice dark, like navy blue, all, all the sparkle. Kind of wish this would focus so you could guys could better appreciate it. You know, the, the, having a brain fart on that one too. The lace, you know, in there, you know, coming around all the different panels. And then just a plain gas cap there, but that's all right. So, I mean, it, just a phenomenal job. Really completes the look I've got going on here. And if you're curious, the gentleman who did it is this guy here. This, there we go. Derek Luck out of Charlottesville, Virginia, who has Deluxe Customs. Let's see if I can get that up here. It doesn't want to focus. Of course it doesn't want to focus. Why would it want to focus? Whatever. That's D-E-L-U-C-K-S Customs. So, and he did this for the, the tank full event. He was obviously number seven, but I've been to his Instagram or face space page or something. And the guy does some really great work. And I'm just beyond stoked to have been fortunate enough to win two more tanks. I'm not gonna tell you what I won them for or how much, but I won them. So I kind of had to redo my wall a little bit here. I'm rapidly running out of space. So there probably won't be any more tanks to come unless next year there's just something I cannot pass up. And if I can't pass it up, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing here. So, but yeah, I mean, if you guys haven't ever checked out the Smoke Out Rally, uh, goes on after Sturgis, uh, end of August, beginning of September, some somewhere in that time frame. forgive me, but uh, they, they put these up for auction. A lot of uh, you know, a company donates the tanks and then they reach out to local artists who donate their time and their materials to paint them. And the money collected all goes to Meals on Wheels to help people who had to choose between food or prescriptions. And I, I really appreciate that somebody's doing that out there. So I said, check them out. Like I said, it's, it's Smoke Out Rally. I can't remember the, the name of the town that uh, they hold it in, but if you watch any of Professional Monkey's videos, um, he, he bid on them last year, he bid on them this year, um, and it sounds like this year he didn't win any, but uh, the company, a company that he collaborates with, won one, sent him the tanks that they won, and now he's working on getting, him, getting them installed onto his chopper. He's gonna have some welding and creativity to do, so definitely go check him out and, and see what he's doing with essentially the same tanks with a different paint scheme. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Go check it out, it, they're cool. So that's all I've got. You know, another amazing saddleman seat. Thank you out there. The next seat I'm eyeballing is a step up seat. I've never tried one. I've never even sat on one, but I'm interested to give one a whirl. That'll just kind of be if I'm out cruising by myself, but, cause I don't think my wife is gonna find that one very comfortable. And we got to keep the wives happy, guys. You know, happy wife and all. So, Saddleman, I know you watch, and I know you jump in those comment sections, and I super appreciate it. But you know, maybe maybe we can work together or something. I don't know. You know that, but that step up seat will be on this bike. It just it might not be until summertime. So, that's it. Great talking to y'all. Uh, questions, comments, concerns. Let me know if you would. You know, throw this video a like if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe. The numbers are still rising and I love it. But about, oh, I think the last time I looked, 90% of the viewers out there aren't subscribed. If you could, that would be amazing and I'd super appreciate it. It doesn't cost you anything, just a click. So anyway, that's all I got. We'll catch you guys later. See ya.